Hi, and welcome to After Hours, tips for composers, pitched air sounds or aeolian sounds. These are sounds that the flutist plays in normal playing position. And you usually see them notated like this, either a diamond or a triangle note head. But be careful, don't use open note heads if you need to tell the difference between a half note and a quarter note. That's going to really mess people up. However, if they're beamed together or under a tuplet, that's okay. Now, if you need to mix air and flute sound, because sometimes people like to use the filled note heads for half air and the open for full air, you know, like I said, that can cause trouble sometimes reading rhythms. There are other ways to do it, like this, using indications above the notes, for example. I'll play a little for you. This is what a full air sound sounds like. Now, one thing to be aware of is that I find composers use airy or aeolian sounds as a kind of catch-all. There are different ways of looking at air sounds. Here's one way of looking at them. You can look at them from a synthesis point of view. You know, you take an oscillator and you add a noise module and a filter and you move them around together and you sort of get, get that idea. This is like adding noise to an otherwise pure sound. But you know, more than half the time I find this isn't what composers really want when they write aeolian or airy sound, especially in the quiet dynamics, because I'll often see airy sound written when they just want a special kind of timbre, like uh, this, for example. Or with a harmonic. So that, that does sound airy, but you see what I'm doing? I'm making a hyper focus of the sound, and I'm not actually adding any kind of noise or air component to it. You're just hearing residual sounds, which are part of the normal flute sound. Now, how do you notate this? And the good news is you don't have to. Just write the dynamic. But if you want to evoke this kind of sound, which does sound airy, I will grant you. So if you use air sound, you're not wrong. But you could also say something like lontano, or thin or ethereal sound, something that'll sort of evoke the idea behind it. And another place where I find airy sounds written that really don't want the flutist to add air, but actually it's more of an unfocusing of the air, and that's in the low register. You see there, I'm not really adding air to the sound. It might sound like I am, but it's actually really just an unfocusing of the sound. And it's also, of course, a mix of airy and normal flute sound. But um, if you want to evoke this sound, you might want to say something like uh, sotto voce or detambre, or if you want to invoke a bamboo tone, you can do that. Or you can even be as prosaic as something like match the clarinet sound. That often does the trick. So I hope this gives you some food for thought when writing for different timbres of the flute, because you know, flutists spend, they spend decades taking harmonics in and out of the sound and learning how to focus and unfocus in order to make colors. And when you just write airy sound, like I said, it's a catch-all. If you take some of these things into account, you might, it might look like you know a little bit more what you want from the flute sound. And flutist are always grateful when you're a little bit more specific of what exact kind of air sound you want. All right, so I hope this has been helpful. Have a great evening and happy composing.